Hey guys, it's Jason, and I'm on the Freedom of the Seas in the Bahamas right now, actually coming back to Miami. Just want to do a quick recap on my cruise, talk a little bit about my experience, and uh, hopefully you guys will join me here. Got my pina colada in hand, I'm ready to do this. So for me, this was my first cruise back, actually, since uh, the COVID shutdown. But I decided to go on Freedom of the Seas this week. So it was a Monday, uh, the 10th of January through tomorrow which is the 14th of January so it's a Monday through Friday cruise and it was a day at sea and then we went to Nassau and then Cook OK. So on the ship I'm actually on a junior suite which is pretty cool. Um, my first time actually on you know, any kind of a balcony uh, to myself and I had booked the balcony, did the Royal Up program for the junior suite, did five dollars above minimum so it's an extra 150 bucks to get in and uh, managed to get the junior suite. And now I actually have a room tour video of that and I'll post that link in the description below so you guys can uh, watch that if you wanna see what the room looked like. But overall, very nice room, plenty of space for myself and if I was with somebody else, plenty of space too. And really just enjoyed the room quite a bit, to be honest. It was amazing having a balcony and did a um, video of us coming into Nassau and I'll post that link down below as well and just really enjoyed being out on the balcony every morning with the coffee that you get in the room as well. So really good time. So I kind of want to talk about the positives and negatives of the cruise and my experience on it. So starting with the positives, obviously the first thing that comes to mind for me on this cruise is the crew itself. The crew was absolutely fantastic for the most part on the ship, um, especially the dining crew and the, the cabin stewards. Uh, absolutely fantastic bar staff absolutely fantastic my waiter and head waiter and assistant waiter all great um, Be benedict was our waiter and sheila was our assistant waiter and then we had uh gabriel as our head waiter every single night they took great care of, of us um i was on the cruise with my parents but for the most part did a lot of stuff solo on the cruise um obviously had my own room and everything up here it was, it was a really good experience so they were great Bar staff, absolutely fantastic on the ship. Um, <laughs> made excellent drinks. I'm a dive member, so you get four free drinks a day. And uh, definitely took advantage of that when I was on the ship. Speaking of the dining, the food on the, the main dining room was absolutely fantastic. Different story in elsewhere on the ship, uh, but at least the dining room was really good. Uh, I think every single night I had uh, amazing types of, of meat on, on, on there. The appetizers were fantastic. Desserts were really good. Um, I think the only complaint I have about the dining room was that they didn't have lobster, and I, that's something new to me. And I guess they don't have lobster on anything less than, I think it's seven nights now. So that was uh, a little disappointing not to see it on the menu, except if you want to pay for the main lobster through Chops Grill, but it's okay. I mean, we still had shrimp and other, other seafood, so it was still a, a pretty good selection to choose from. Now, as far as the safety on board and how I felt about that, I'm going to put this mostly underneath the positive because... For the most part, I felt pretty safe on the cruise ship. I mean, I go out to places at home like, you know, Walmart, or I go to Publix, or these different places, and nobody wears masks in Florida, for the most part. You know, people, you you have people coughing all over the place, people sick, um, whether it's they have COVID or not, I don't know, but you know, you just, you, you go out in public in Florida, especially where I live, and just very few people are trying to protect themselves and the people around them. The cruise ship, on the other hand, uh, felt pretty darn safe on. They did a really good job of enforcing social distancing, a uh, really good job of enforcing the mask policy, which I'm glad that they actually kept the mask policy and adjusted it slightly when I came on the ship. Um, they, uh, On my current sailing that I'm, I'm on right now, they actually make you wear a mask at all times indoors unless you're actively eating or drinking, and that includes in the vaccinated only areas, which uh, I'm actually glad they're doing that because like tonight, for example, was the ice show, and I would have been very uncomfortable in there with how crowded it was if everybody was not wearing a mask. So very, very glad they do that. Um, I wore an N95 mask myself. Uh, the crew all had N95 masks or KN95, I'm not sure which one, with their Royal Caribbean cloth mask over it. Uh, so, the, you know, it looks nice. They uh, were protecting themselves very well with that and protecting the guests as well. So felt very safe on the ship. And there were a few guests that were not really following the rules very much. Um, a couple of them I ran into multiple times just walking down the hallway. But every single time we passed a Royal Caribbean crew member, whether it was somebody at the bar, whether it was somebody like tonight leaving Studio B by the photo uh, booth area, and they're reminding people to put on the mask, and it's great. So whether you're for masks, not, whatever, but... 
for me personally, I, I enjoy having the mask on, and uh, I think that that makes it a little bit safer for everybody. So, not that you can't get COVID on the ship, but you know, it, it, it definitely felt a lot safer than me when I'm out at the grocery store or someplace like that. Another thing that was great was uh, the Freedom.com ice show. Uh, so that's the Freedom of the Seas ice skating show that's on the ship, and that was absolutely fantastic tonight. I went and saw it. Um, really, really great, great cast. So to talk a little bit about the negatives, since we're already talking about the ice skating show, nothing to do with the ice skating cast themselves. Absolutely fantastic. But the first night that they had the show was a mixed vaccinated, unvaccinated show. And, you know, the, the number of unvaccinated on the ship is like 5%, right? So, or less. They had Studio B split up where two thirds of Studio B was set up for unvaccinated and then vaccinated was in one third. You know, I do a reservation and everything, but there were literally no seats available. So it was like standing room in the back. Um, I mean, they did have some seats technically back there, like the high top bench seats, but they're blocked. They were literally blocked by pillars, so you couldn't see the the, the show. And um, you know, that was a little disappointing. So I ended up leaving that night. Looked at for the following night. My parents stayed, and apparently they ended up opening up most of the other side because there just weren't that many unvaccinated people that showed up. Um, so they ended up opening up a lot of the other, the other side for the, for the vaccinated and people were able to spread out a little bit. But, um, but the second night was fine. So no big complaints there. You know, for me, I think one of the biggest negatives right now about sailing, and this might actually impact whether I choose to sail again in, in, in the near future other than the one I already have booked in March, is being a so, pretty much a solo traveler. Because I'm here with my parents, but... Now, I was spending some time with them, but I, I like going out and meeting people and doing things, but not in huge groups. I normally just like to find a couple people to hang out with. But with COVID going on, it's hard to do that, and for obvious reasons. You know, it's for me, it's all about limiting the number of people that you're with, right? So if I can, uh, you know, find one or two people to hang out with the whole cruise uh, that are my age, I'll, I'll go do that right now with COVID going on because it's, I'm limiting myself to that little group. COVID going on, the activities on board are really kind of geared towards groups of people. So if you're a solo passenger like myself coming on board, there's not much that you're going to be able to do in these activities because everything is like, okay, get in your group and they don't want you, but they, they want your social distancing. So they had a table set up, but you know, every other table is, is reserved. So you can't sit there. Um, like for example, trivia, uh, luckily, I went with my dad for most of it, but I did try to go to one on my own. But the crew member that was running it actually said that the teams need to be two to six people. But when you're solo, you're you, you can't do it because you don't have anybody to go with, and you know people are very hesitant about letting other people into their group right now for obvious reasons. The other big issue that I had on this cruise, uh, and this pretty much impacted the whole time, was my room. Uh, I had actually multiple issues with this junior suite, and. Um, to be honest, it was kind of disappointing because I've really never had room issues in the past before on Royal Caribbean. The first night, it was like 75, 76 degrees in the room with humidity. Um, and I'm one of those people that can't sleep if it's over like 71, 72 degrees with no humidity. Thermostat was turned down all the way. Everything was, was you know, set correctly, but it just wasn't cooling down. So I let my cabin steward know the, the second day, the, that, that morning. He was great. He went and immediately started getting maintenance in here to take a look at it, everything. They came in, they worked on it for no joke, probably about four, four, four and a half hours. Um, they had the ceiling back there by the door torn down. They actually replaced the whole thermostat on the wall. They did a whole bunch of different things. And it got cool in the room, but even like right now, it's almost midnight and it's been on the coolest setting. And when I would go down to my parents' room on deck six, they have a balcony room, they keep theirs on the highest heat setting and it's pretty much the same temperature as it is in this room. So um, still not very cool in this room at all. Uh, and that was kind of disappointing because I've been having a hard time sleeping because of that at night and I just wake up multiple times during the night sweating and can't use the sheet covers. And so that, you know, I wish they would fix that. I know it's a little bit old, of an older ship at this point, but you, you'd expect a junior suite or really any cabin that you're paying this kind of money for to, to at least have working air conditioning. I had another slight issue on the cruise when I was exiting to get off on Coco Cay where my picture all of a sudden disappeared from the system and they wouldn't let me off and I had to go to customer service and talk with them and, and uh, get them to re-add my picture and 
speaking customer service, that was really the only crew department that I complain about on the ship because they really, like, you know, I talked to them about the issues I had with my cabin stateroom, the issues that I had with the key card, the activities, like, just bringing stuff to them, and, and they didn't really seem to care too much. Um, you know, they asked if, oh, did they work on the room? And I was like, yeah, they did. Um, and they were like, okay, so is it fixed now? I'm like, well, it's cooler, but it's not really that cool. And they're like, okay, I'm glad it's cooler now. They didn't take it to that next level that I'm used to on Royal, where they're like, okay, well, let me send somebody back out there, take a look at it. Um, same thing with uh, the, the key card issue. I asked, hey, you know, do you know how this happened? Like, why did my picture get deleted? They're like, no, we don't. And I was like, okay, well, and then after all the issues that I had, I was like, hey, is there just a manager I can speak to to talk to them about all the different issues and kind of just, you know, let them know, hey, you know, this is where you guys can improve. And they straight up told me that, the, that they were all the, the, the managers there. And I've been on off cruises. I know that there's a head, you know, manager that works there. And, and I didn't appreciate the fact that they basically were playing games with me up there. And, um, yeah, so that was a little disappointing there as well. Um, but the rest of the crew on the, on the ship was absolutely fantastic. But overall, though, I actually had a pretty good time on the cruise. Uh, you know, it wasn't fantastic. Uh, at times, I got a little depressed because being solo, mostly solo on the cruise, it, 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 especially today, I was like, man, you know, I had fun, but I, I wish that I had more time with with people um and, and got to meet other people and hang out and i really got to find somebody to cruise with my age uh, i think that's a big thing so um you know if you're single ladies you know want to go on a cruise no i'm just kidding um i don't know, maybe i'm not kidding but uh, <laughs> uh, but i do want to uh, try to find some uh, some some people my age to go cruising with because i think that'd be fun and then um overall though pretty good time and I have another cruise booked on Royal Caribbean for Oasis of the Seas in March. And I'm looking forward to that one because we're going to St. Thomas, St. Martin, and Coco Cay as well. And it'll be my first time on an Oasis class ship, so it should be pretty cool. What's next for me though? I gotta finish packing, got a little bit more to do. And then tomorrow it's a about four and a half hour drive back to Orlando. Hopefully we'll be there by 11 o'clock noon, somewhere around there, and then I can go pick up my pups from daycare because I've been away from them now for almost five days and uh, got a big bill to pay when I pick them up, but they seem to be, they, it seems like they were in pretty good hands and um, I got pictures of them throughout the cruise, which was cool and I'm excited to see them though. About two months from now, I'll be on another cruise, so we'll see how it goes, but I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.